بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب ذبنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین In this lecture, I will discuss some important questions of linear combination of variables. Question number 5. The independent random variables x and y are such that x has mean 8 and variance 4.8 and y has a Poisson distribution with mean 6. Since y follows Poisson distribution, therefore its mean and variance both are same and they both are equal to 6. Because in Poisson distribution, both mean and variance are same. Find the mean of 2x minus 3y and variance of 2x minus 3y. In equations, we always square the coefficients while finding the variance. So make sure you will square this 2 and this 3 while working for the variance of this equation. But in mean, we just copy the things. So mean of e 2x minus 3y. This is very simple. Copy 2 here and multiply 2 with the mean of x which is 8. Then copy this negative sign here and then copy this 3 and multiply this 3 with the mean of y which is 6. So this is the mean of this equation. But in variance make sure you must square the coefficients of x and y. And you must replace this negative sign by positive sign because variance is always positive. And this is the variance of x and this is the variance of y. And this is the variance of this equation. So whenever equations are given, then always square the coefficients of the variables while working for the variance of the equation. Next question, number 6. The weights of men follow a normal distribution with mean 71 kg and standard deviation 7. So variance is 7 square. The weights of women follow a normal distribution with mean 57 kg and variance is 5 square. Total. This is very important. This means sum. The total weight of 5 men and 2 women chosen randomly is denoted by x kg so x means the total weight of five men and two women so this is the equation of x now we have to prove mean and variance of x this is very simple since these numbers are not multiples of m and w therefore we will not square these numbers while finding the variance of x we only square the numbers when the numbers are multiples. In this case, these numbers are not multiples. These are uh, 5 men and these are 2 women. So, you just need to copy this 5 here and multiply 5 with the mean of men, which is 71. 2 times mean of women. So, this is Ex and we had to show this. In variance, don't square these numbers these coefficients because these coefficients are not multiples of m and w. Here is the variance of x. Second part of this question. The total weight of 4 men and 3 women chosen randomly is denoted by y. So y is this. Again we will not square uh, squares these numbers because these numbers are not uh, multiples while working for the variance of y. We need um, probability of this x minus y. So first find mean of y. This is the mean of y. 4 times mean of men, 3 times mean of women and this is the variance but they said find the standard deviation so standard deviation will be under root 271 uh, i think the question was find the standard deviation of x minus y so x minus y 
So E X minus E Y. E X is 469, whereas E Y is 455. We just have found E Y. Now variance of X minus Y. So variance of X is 295, whereas variance of Y is 271, and this minus is plus. Always convert this negative into positive while working for the variance. So this is the standard deviation of x minus y. Now we need this probability x minus y greater than 22. This is very simple because we have mean and variance of both, I mean this equation. So first convert this statement into z with the help of this formula x minus y minus mu over sigma under sigma or you can just write under sigma square under root. So 22 minus mu over under root sigma square. When you will simplify this, you will get 0.336. This means smaller area, so it should be 1 minus 5. And this is the answer up to three significant figures. Again, equation is given. So we will square this coefficient while working for the variance of this equation. Exam marks x have mean 70 and standard deviation 8.7. This is x. Always write variance here. The marks need to be scaled using the formula. So the scaled marks y have mean 55 and variance is 6.96 square. Now find the uh, values of a and b. So this is very simple. We just need to find ey and vy. So ey is a times ex plus b. We have EY, we have EX. So this is the equation number one. In variance, make sure you square this coefficient because this coefficient is multiple of X and the mean of uh, variance of constant is zero. So A is 0.8 because we have variance of Y, we have variance of X, so A is 0.8 and B is minus one. When you will substitute 0.8 here, you'll get B. So these are the values of A and B. So whenever equations are given, then always square the uh, coefficients of the variables while working for the variance. Next question. Question number eight. A clock contains four new batteries each of which gives a voltage which is normally distributed with mean 1.4 and variance is 0 0.05 square. The voltages of the batteries are independent. The clock will only work if the total voltage, again we have sum, is greater than 5.95 volts. So total means 4B greater than 5.95. Find the probability that the clock will work. So this is very simple. We need this probability. For that we need to find uh, mean of 4B and variance of 4B. This 4 is not multiple of B. So in variance we will not square this 4. See, this 4 is as it is. So the, here is the variance and here is the mean. Now we need this probability 4B greater than 5.95. Convert this statement into Z, 5.95 mu under root sigma square. This is the final answer up to three significant figures.